Hi, my name is Alexander Nolte and in this video I will present our work on Hackathon Project Continuation together with Irene Angelica Junta and James Herbslab. Hackathons are time-bounded events which typically last between two and five days during which people gather together and form teams, each of which attempts to complete a project of interest to them. In this research we particularly focus on co-located events. While research on such events has grown considerably in the last few years, most work focuses on the event itself. The question what happens to hackathon projects after an event has ended has not been addressed beyond studies on singular events so far. This is surprising since hackathons are typically organized with specific goals in mind, such as creating new and innovative products, fostering entrepreneurship and others, which arguably require follow-up activity. Moreover, focusing on studies of singular events does not allow us to gain insights beyond the confines of those events that take place in a specific domain or context. Our work aims to address this gap by focusing on the question what happens to hackathon projects after an event has ended and which aspects may be associated with technical project continuation. To identify aspects that can reasonably be expected to facilitate project continuation, we examined existing literature and identified two main groups of aspects. These relate to task completion and motivation. Task completion refers to the progress that a team makes on their project during a hackathon. It can be expected that the more progress they make, the more likely it is for them to continue their project after an event. One example for an aspect that can foster task completion is skill matching, since it can be expected that a fit between a team's skills and technical project requirements can allow them to develop a more polished prototype during a hackathon. Motivation can come from different sources. One example for that is a team winning a prize at a hackathon. As a basis for our study, we used an excerpt of the Hackathon database DevPost, which contains information about hackathons, projects, and participants. To study project continuation, we analyzed GitHub repositories that were connected to hackathon projects lifted in DevPost. In total, our study covers 592 projects that 1,912 participants attempted during 73 different hackathons. Our analysis revealed that only about 35% of all projects showed any continuation activity. It also showed that for the majority of projects, the activity only lasted until six days and that few projects survive long term. We then examined the influence of the different factors we identified from related work on project continuation. We conducted two separate analyses for short and long term continuation. We first studied short-term continuation until day six after a hackathon using logistic regression. We found that teams who worked on their GitHub repository prior to the event, that won one of the few prizes at a large hackathon, and that attempted a project that required them to use a large amount of different technologies were more likely to continue their project short-term. In addition, we also conducted a survival analysis using Cox regression to study long-term continuation. This analysis revealed that teams who attempted projects that were within their skill set, that had diverse skills, and that intended to expand the reach of their project after the event were more likely to continue their project long term. The intention to expand the reach of a project in this context refers to them attempting to expand their user base or acquire funding. We also found that intensive short-term continuation activity was detrimental to long-term project continuation. In general, we can thus conclude that most hackathon projects actually get discontinued. Moreover, we found that teams exhibit different types of continuation behavior because some teams appear to mainly focus on polishing their prototypes while not exhibiting any long-term intention towards their projects. We also found that short and long-term continuation were predicated by completely different aspects as shown in the previous slide. While continuation intentions in general did not have an effect, we found specific intentions to be relevant related to long-term continuation. All these findings can serve as insights for hackathon organizers and participants that aim to foster project continuation after an event has ended. Thank you for listening to this presentation and you will find more information about our work on hackathons in the listed ResearchGate project and on the website of the Hackathon Planning Kit.